Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, JC. Welcome to the channel. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a subject that a couple of people have asked me. Um, do toxic people get away with hurting you? Whenever you get the chance, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the necessary things to support a YouTube channel such as this one. And uh, let's go. So... You know, a lot of times we don't get answers. We get no um, no closure or anything from these people. And when you've been hurt, when you've been discarded, smeared and everything, and, uh, and just kind of like ghosted, you tend to wonder if the person's just kind of going off into the, into the, you know, into the background and just doing their thing and everything. But I, I, I can assure you, one, narcissistic people, right? I'm separating it because there's narcissistic and then there's borderlines, right? Narcissistic people are always chasing something that they could never, they can never have. So when they discard you, they got the... The grass is greener syndrome. They're trying to go for something else that they think is better. And then they, they can never find it. So they're always in this cycle, ruining relationships, right? Now a borderline, borderlines are different because when a borderline discards and smears, everything that they do is fear-based. It's a fear-based reaction. In, in impulsivity, fear-based, you know? So when they discard you, it's because they think you're going to discard them. So then they paint you black, right? They split and then they paint you black and they make you out to be all bad. Then they go out and they start a nasty smear campaign. And some of you might never get to speak to these people again, right? Now, a lot of times, people with BPD will often regret what they do and will come back to either make amends, apologize, or start the cycle all over again. You know? You figure out if you want to be part of that. But do these people get away with... Now, you got to understand something. Getting away with hurting people, it's like... Borderlines don't, you have to understand, borderlines don't actually want to hurt you. They're not out to hurt you. They don't intentionally want to hurt you. They are genuinely out to find love. But their fear of abandonment is so powerful and so overwhelming that once they get in their head and they start, you know, obsessing and, and thinking about what are the possibilities of you leaving them, it's like they... they they believe you're going to leave them, and so what they do is they they start the uh, they start devaluing you and everything, and it becomes like a a self fulfilling prophecy, you know. In time, these people are aware of of all the relationships that have that have uh, soured throughout the years. And I don't know if you want to call that getting away with anything. I mean, just because they hurt you and everything, see, you got to understand something, right? Whether narcissistic, borderline, histrionic, all that shit, right? Toxic people go through a cycle over and over and over again. Whereas people like us, you know, we can heal. We can go through the process of, of, of grief. And eventually we will get to the point where now, you got you to gotta do the inner work, you know? I've been doing the work. And the reason why I've been posting videos that's shown my emotional stages of me going through breakup and everything like this is because I kind of want to lead by example of what I'm going through. Whereas I'm, I've gone through a breakup about a month and a half ago where the last time I went through a breakup, I was emotionally immature and I pretty much ran... Carla Fagan through the gutter, right? You know, but this this time around, you know, I I had a moment of weakness where I I I I tried to fire back and everything, but after that I realized, you know, 
at the end of the day, who's going to be the worst for the wear after all this is done, said and done, you know? And I don't, I don't wish this on nobody. I don't wish this on her. I don't wish this on anybody. But you got to understand something. If you do the inner work to heal, you will heal. A lot of times, toxic people who can't see the error of their ways and can't see the cycle they're going through, they'll never heal. Now, shout out to the people who have treated their BPD uh, disorders, their, 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 their chronic BPD and all that, have gotten treatment and, and, and are more self-aware. I'm proud of you. You guys are the, the brave ones who decided to get help and do something about it. People with BPD can get treatment and go on to live great lives. For the people who are not healed, well, I can't say healed because you can't cure BPD. But you can definitely lessen symptoms and kind of put it in remission where the people who are diagnosed with it can can recognize when it's the symptoms of BPD that are that are flaring up, you know, in times when they feel angry or whatever because you got to understand BPD, borderline personality disorder, these people feel emotions on a much higher level than any of us do. I know you think oh we have empathy and all and we we feel emotions, but borderlines really do feel emotions on a much higher level. You know, they feel deeper when they fall in love. They fall in love deeper when they hate. They hate deeper when they are sad. They are sad deeper. Um, that's why a lot of them do attempt suicide, and it's sad. And when you think about all this, right? What part of that sounds to you like they're getting away with anything? You know, then nobody's really getting away with anything. Karma hits us all, you know, all. And uh, at some point in time, we are going to pay for the hurt that we bring people. You know, we ask the question, why, why does it seem like they get away with stuff? Well, the reason why it seems like they get away with stuff is because they're not showing you that they're hurting, you know. They're not just going to go out there and be like, oh my God, I'm in pain, I'm hurting. You know, mine did in an email. She said, I'm not happy, I'm hurting. You know, and that to me should have been a, should have been an indicator that, uh, you know, she had some issues that she needed to deal with. You know? And in hindsight, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about her hurting. I don't feel good about this. I know that in time, within the next few months, I'm going to be perfectly fine, you know. Will thoughts and triggers come up? Yeah, of course they will because that's, you know, you can't spend such an amount of time with somebody and uh, and not think about these people, you know what I mean? Uh, but ultimately, we can heal. That's the thing. You got you to gotta understand this. That's the power that we have. We can move on. And if we go through the process of grief properly, we can come out of there okay. Where we can, you know, go out into the world and be ready again to level up and do what we want to do to treat ourselves and, 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 and take care of ourselves. And then to the point where we're dating again. You know what I mean? But... In the beginning, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like this will go on forever, right? But give it some time and some, some, some work. And you'll see that in the end, you're going to be the one that comes out of this thing. And they're still going to be... A lot of these people are still going to be t stuck in their toxic ways. And it's sad because for narcissists, they're completely unaware of what's going on. They just continue to blame others. But deep down, they know that there's, that there's something inherently wrong with them. And for people with borderline personality disorder, you know, they might not be aware of their personality disorder, but they definitely look back at times and, and, and are sad of all the damage that they've done. Believe you me when I tell you, there's a lot of stigma that goes around B 
BDP, and a lot of people will say that, oh, BDP, they're, they're heartless, they're, they, they have no remorse, they're cold, and they'll just hurt you. Uh, not necessarily true. What you also got to understand is that a lot of people with BDP are also comorbid with narcissistic personality disorder. But when you have people that are, are diagnosed with borderline personality disorder alone, a lot of these people feel on a much deeper level, and they will be sad, and they will mourn the loss. Even if they've smeared you so bad and everything, th that switch will come back where they, they are looking back and regretting what they've done because you got to understand people with BPD are highly impulsive. Highly impulsive. One minute they'll say they'll love you, then the minute, next minute they'll block you. And then the next minute they're telling everybody you're a, you're a piece of shit. And then the next minute they're saying, I'm so sorry, I love you. I, you know, I, I was just really mad. You know, and they can't they can't control it unless they get therapy. So this is just a little brief uh, video. I mean, it's not that brief. It's like, you know, close to 12 minutes. I uh, just wanted to touch up on this subject. You know what I mean? These guys, they, they these people don't really get away with anything. You know, anybody who's living uh, in a toxic cycle where they repeat the same pattern over and over again, never gets away with anything. Their karma hits them because they have to keep facing the cycle the cycle and living a life of unhappiness you know and it sucks it sucks but it's not you so understand you can heal and you can move forward and you can be happy again all right just wanted to stress this to you guys always remember to love and respect yourself and whenever you get the chance hit that subscribe button the bell icon the like share comment all that good shit love you guys about to go out dance salsa tonight but i'm not taking any video because uh i just don't feel like it talk to you guys soon remember to love and respect yourself